Well, the former president has strong support in parts of Southern California. And tonight we found out how Mr. Trump's base is reacting to today's news. Here's Nicole Comstock now live in Norco. Nicole. Yeah, you guys, you know, Trump got 45% of the vote here in Riverside County in 2020, and lots of people here want to see him reelected in 2024. Many of them feel like this indictment is an attempt to prevent that from happening. There's no shortage of American flags in Norco. It's one of many Inland Empire communities where Donald Trump had strong support both times he ran for president. I think it's just turned into a witch hunt. And he's also had strong support here both times he's been indicted. They feel intimidated. They don't want a lot of their stuff to be revealed, so they're going overboard trying to make it look like he's committed all these crimes. and. And I think it's just uh, really a disservice to America. I have concerns. I think everyone has concerns about the truthfulness of the government and how use resources are being used uh, against one particular individual. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy from Bakersfield issued this statement saying, and just yesterday, a new poll showed President Trump is without a doubt Biden's leading political opponent. Everyone in America could see what was going to come next. DOJ's attempt to distract from the news and attack the front runner for the Republican nomination, President Trump. But others who once supported Trump are now changing their minds. He did a good job, but enough is enough. Jose Marquez says after the events of January 6, 2021, and what he's learned of this latest indictment, he won't vote for Trump again and thinks he's no longer fit to serve. He's so smart, but he has to, when, when, when he's a president, he has to think about the country, not about himself. Sherry Martin says she's lost faith in most politicians at this point and worries about our future generations. I have a granddaughter that I worry for about how things are going to be when she's my age. And we reached out to several other Republican representatives for a comment, but have not yet heard back from them. Reporting live in Norco, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. All right, Nicole, thank you.